Anything you look at in the physical has a counterpart. Everything has a counterpart. So when you look at the number three, for example, the reason three is important is because everything has one point and another point, right? Meaning there's a start and there's a beginning. So if you have like up, there's down. If you have hot, there's cold, yeah? If, if everything you can think of, there's two sides to it. There's the spiritual side and there's the physical side. Now, the middle point is going to be the point where one goes from one to the other. You understand? So if you go hot, there's a point where it turns to cold. And if you go cold, there's a t point where it turns to hot. Right? So the three points, one, two, three, the middle point, if I took a line, in fact, it's on here, but I'm scared to move from this sliding case. I don't get back. Um, so the three... There's a three in the physical realm and there's a three in the spiritual realm. So you have three times three gives you nine. Three plus three gives you six. And as you can see on that table, from the, um, the six ether side, hold on, let me see if I can jump to this. Okay, there you go. Right. As you can see on this um, slide, if you, if you can't see and you're in Clubhouse, you just have to try and picture it in your mind. But as you can see, there are two points to every circle because when you draw a circle, you start at a particular point. Only you know where that point starts from and then you go like that and then it meets up. And that gives you the two points. And as you can see from the diagram, um, the circle, then or the two points, and then the circle forms into a square because you can see that a circle, even though it looks different to the square, it's actually, mathematically, both circles and squares are 360 degrees each. So if you look at a, a square, you have four right angle um, angles, which are 90 degrees each, and then you have the circle that is 360. You add those two together, you get the 720, and you add those two up, you come up to the number nine. So our number is number nine, because that's the highest number. Other than that, the, the rest of the numbers are just compound numbers where you take, to make 10, you're going to take 1 and 0. Because you go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 11 is 1 and 1, 12 is 1 and 2, yeah, compound numbers. 6 ether deals with belief. It deals with the lesser mysteries. It deals with things that are not facts, right? Because belief is based on, you can believe whatever you want, it doesn't mean it's true. And if you look at the word, the, in the middle of the word believe or belief, it's lie. When you look at the other side, on the nine ether side, you have no knowing knowledge facts. On the six ether side, you deal with faith, F-I-T-H. Because faith is to have, you know, believe in something that, again, you can't prove. And on the nine ether side, you have fate, F-A-T-E. Fate is like by natural nature, things are going to happen. Yeah, so if, for example, um, if you look at chemicals, like if we were to put gas in this room and we lit a matchstick, no matter where you are, that reaction is going to cause a, what, an explosion. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're black, white, green, yellow, there are just certain things that happen naturally, that's fate, yeah? On the six ether side, you deal with ghosts, like Holy Ghost. And when you look at the word ghost, it goes to gospel. So people tell you in religion to believe in the gospel, which is phonetically the ghost spell. On the nine ether side, we deal with the Holy Spirit. On the six ether side, they deal with the cross or the double cross. The double cross um, is, is a symbol of death because they tell you that Jesus was hung on the cross and he was killed on the cross. Um, double cross is when you tell somebody one thing and then you, you switch, switch up on them. On the nine ether side, we deal with the Ankh, which is the symbol here, and the Ankh Tui, which is dealing with the, um, for, for life, because our ancestors recognized life and dealt with life. On the six ether side, you're dealing with moon worship or death. 
on the sun, um, nine ether side, we're dealing with life. We're dealing with the sun. So these numbers, the number 3, 6, 9, and 24, it's very important because the number 24 is a project for this planet by extraterrestrials, which many people are unaware of. And when you look at, in the West, as an adult, you're considered to be an adult when you're 18 years old, which is what? Six times three. Yeah? 666. Six, six. There are 24 hours in a day, which is what? Six times four. Number number six. As I mentioned before, six is also six, if you look at interchanging the vowels. The circumference of the planet is 24,000 miles. You look at that, it's two plus four, six. You have 24,000 genomes, yeah? The genomes are the genes that they did a project called the Human Genome Project, which can tell every single genes that make you up. So when you look at the double helix, yeah? Um, so again, that's 24,000 genes. You add the two plus four, you get the six. The planet itself weighs um, 24 uh, um, sextillion tons. No, is it six? Check it out. I might be getting that wrong. You have in your body 24 trillion cells. Yeah? The first seeding of the physical creation on Earth was done by 24 beings that incarnated here on this planet. Um, 12 of them being females from Sirius or Cyrus, and the other 12 being males from Orion, making up the 24 elders. The women spoke before men. Women spoke 54,000 years ago. If you add up 5 plus 4, that's 9. As we just talked about, the 144,000 chosen ones that are mentioned in the Bible um, also add up to the 9, 1 plus 4 plus 4. In music, you have seven notes that make up a scale, right? Plus the eighth note, which is an octave. Um, I'll put this on. Which is an octave. Now, that's eight notes, but if you played all those notes together at once, you get the ninth note, yeah, which gives you the number nine again. So, what we're basically saying, there are nine realms as well, which you have to try to master, right? Um, meaning that, as I said, the first, the lowest one is the physical realm, that's one. The next one is the spiritual realm, that's two. The third one is the, the, soul, the soul realm, that's three. The fourth one is the mental realm, yeah, that's number four. And then you can keep going five, six, seven, eight to nine. Nine ether also relates to our hair because our hair grows and curls into a number nine when it comes out. So that's why we, our hair is woolly, like your, my brother's hair here. And then you have six ether which comes out and it flux or comes down that way and curls into a six. All right. So when we're dealing with the number nine, it's a very significant and serious number. So. Nine ether is dealing with the black seed, both genders. Eight ether is dealing with the brown seed, both genders. Seven ether is dealing with the brown seed, both genders. Then you have six ether, which is the red, white seed of the female gender. And then the five ether is the white, red seed dealing with the male gender only. Fourth ether is dealing with mixed seeds of both genders. And three ether is dealing with the yellow seed, both genders. Then you have two ether, amber seed and asexual. And the last one, one ether is colorless or asexual. I'm saying that to say that when you tie it all in, it makes up who you are and what you can access as an etheric being is the ninth, the highest number. Yeah.